Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Here's another video of me out in my backyard. I've received a lot of positive comments and a lot of positive feedback about these outdoor videos. And to be completely honest with you, I like doing these outdoor videos as well because you know, a little bit of sunlight uh, never, never hurt anyone. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why interaction with strangers. Yes, you heard that right. Why interaction with strangers is going to be at the core, at the root of our recovery as a civilization, of our recovery as a species, of our recoveries as the collective American psyche, of our recovery from the pandemic, from the recession, from all the, all the negativity that we're feeling right now. Folks, uh, before I get into uh, why this is important, and I'll provide you with some really uh, impressive research that was done by, by an author at the New York Times, I want you to know that my perspective of everything that's happened in the last two, three years is that the trouble, the, the hell, if you will, that we've gone through in the past two, three years, I believe that positivity and energy and I believe that uh, good things are around the corner, but we have to get through this phase. And I honestly think this phase could, have, could last for a couple more years. Why? Because, you know, the next presidential elections are coming up. Uh, you know, there are some rumors that former President Trump might run again. And I think, and I honestly think that that has the potential uh, to tear the country apart. Uh, but I, I do believe that America is going to emerge stronger at the end of this. So let me just back up and tell you that the pandemic was a horrific time for many of us. Many of us lost loved ones. On top of that, we have so much animosity uh, politically, I think politically we've never been never been more divided. And then on top of that, the stock market has been going through these wild, wild, wild uh, gyrations. So I think that uh, this, in a sense, is the ultimate test. And I do believe that in the next couple of years, things are going to get worse politically, uh, potentially worse financially. And then, then we can get back to uh, hopefully a consistent productive cycle of growth. But the purpose of this video is how can you actually get through all of this? And you've heard me talk about this before on our channel. I believe there are five components to health overall. There's emotional, physical, social, spiritual and intellectual again it's emotional physical social spiritual and intellectual so there are five main components of overall health and well-being now what i want you to do is understand that interaction with strangers is a critical part of of long-term emotional health i'll show you this article on your screen from the new york times and i'll actually quote uh, from this article Engagement with strangers is at the core of our social contract. Most religious faiths instruct us to welcome the strangers we encounter, and there's good reason for this. In fact, let me read this out. This is fascinating. If we engaged only with the people we knew, our world would be small. That leap of faith towards the unknown other is what allows us to grow beyond the family unit, beyond the tribe, or beyond the nation. Everyone you converse with who is not a biological relative, your best friend, neighbor, uh, lover, spouse, or even that chatty taxi driver from last weekend was a stranger before you spoke to that person. Anytime we ignore strangers in our vicinity, whether because of fear, bigotry, or the everyday convenience and efficiency of digital technology, we weaken, we weaken that contact. Far from random human inconveniences, strangers are actually one of the richest and most important resources we have. They connect us to the community, teach us empathy, and they build civility and are full of surprise and potentially wonder. And here's a comment from Gillian Sandstorm, who's a senior lecturer at the University of Essex. And uh, Gillian's research has actually demonstrated how small transactional relationships we create by talking to strangers are important pillars of our social and emotional well-being. And Gillian says this, I've spent many years studying the people who are the furthest out of our social networks and they really do add a richness to our life that we miss when we are not there. So, folks, here's the problem with COVID. <clears throat> COVID actually made it uh, dangerous to interact with strangers. And I think our society has become more about the uh, me, 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 more about individuality, more about uh, individual freedoms, more about, uh, you know, uh, creativity and independence. The problem, the problem with that is it shouldn't be about the me, me, me. It should be about the us, us, us. And I think that uh, having those strong connections with friends, especially friends who uplift you is important. You've heard me talk about that before, but strangers, the random interactions with strangers, 
are absolutely critical and I believe are at the core of our emotional well-being. I believe, I believe that a year from now, two years from now, the individuals who, are, who have the most interactions with strangers, who have uh, a handful of friends, are going to be in a better place than individuals who simply have more money. Because the problem with money is that, uh, and it, this is a cliche, money doesn't always lead to happiness. And I know I've been there. I've been in situations where I've had more money, where I've had less money. I've been in situations where I had plenty of friends, where I neglected my friends, and where I'm trying to reestablish relationships with those friends. And I can tell you that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, your relationship with your friends, your family, your interactions with strangers will add a richness to your life. And that is what I call a truly ignited life. Remember this channel, the Ignition Time channel is about the country, the economy as well as our money. I will always deliver the news to you. That's not going to change. But you see, at the end of the day, <clears throat> at the end of the day, you don't need to know you don't just need to know what's going on out there in the world and you know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there right now i mean some of the revelations from the january 6 committee some of the comments coming out from former president trump uh, some of the things that actually went on at that time are just unbelievable a lot of people are probably thinking why are we rehashing this when you know when i when i can't even afford to uh, fill up my you know, car with gas why are we even talking about this when i need to compromise on groceries i need to compromise on utilities so i can pay my health insurance bills and they're absolutely right and therein lies the problem with our society today. We are, we are torn apart. We are divided. And our enemies, and I'm just going to zoom out and talk globally here, our enemies like Russia, like the Middle East, like China, they enjoy that. They love, they love seeing the United States sort of <clears throat> tear itself apart from within. They love seeing arguments between Ron DeSantis and former President Trump. They love seeing, you know, the left fighting with the right. They love seeing the you know uh, the, the the depiction of the radical left and the depiction of the you know of the far right they they love seeing us tear ourselves apart and so what we need to do is take a step back is take a step back and understand that we need to heal ourselves right up here right up here because when we heal ourselves there uh, we can we can then reestablish what makes us great as a country what makes us outstanding, what makes us the leaders of the world in a sense. And even leaders struggle. I can tell you right now I'm struggling because of many different reasons, personal reasons, emotional reasons. I've had to deal with uh, grief lately. And I can tell you that, um, you know, this channel, you know, it, it, guys, it takes effort to create these videos. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this is a one take video. I haven't, you know, I haven't hesitated at all during the video. My, my video editors who are brilliant will, you know, make this video look nice and clean with different cuts but this is a one take video um, it takes a lot of energy for me to put out these videos but I do it because uh, I want to be strong for you I want to be consistent for you I'm not just a deliverer of news and uh, I'm a deliverer that's a word that I just made up that's not even a real word I'm not just someone who's going to deliver the news my goal is to give you hope is to help you be better is to help you live the American dream and that's what this channel is all about. So this channel will always be about the country, the economy and money but I want you to live a truly ignited life. I want you to live a life where you're, you're in sync and you're balanced emotionally, physically, socially, spiritually and intellectually. And I didn't cover all of those things in this video but I did talk to you about the importance of interactions with strangers to maximize your emotional health. I hope this helped. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.